My name is Jessica Borga. I fight for Bellator in the featherweight division at 145. I heard about Titan from my instructor. He's my strength and conditioning coach, Roger. I've uh, been with them for over a year now and it's been going amazing. My recovery has escalated. <laughs> I can't even tell you how much. I have been able to recover faster, be able to go through trainings better. I can, <laughs> I can get back up and get, keep going for a longer amount of time. Honestly, my favorite therapy would probably be the Hercules Potion. The aminos help me recover twice as fast than I could even imagine. <laughs> so I've been incredibly grateful for it. Uh, the Titan Complete, which is also a vitamin. It, if you're cutting weight and everything, I can tell you right now that it's amazing to help with anything that you might be missing nutrition-wise. Uh, it helps replace that, so it, you can feel it. You can see the difference. You can feel the difference. Um, the amino acids, which is the Hercules Potion, that is definitely my favorite. Uh, I sometimes take it up to twice a day. Sometimes if my trainings are two to three times a day in uh, fight camp. So. So I've actually been training for six years. Uh, I've gotten into Bellator faster than most people. <laughs> I'm very consistent with my training though, so I've gone pretty much <laughs> balls to the wall from the start. So being consistent and getting better faster definitely helps. Absolutely, <laughs> especially with you know getting older, no matter how old you are. In this sport, you age faster, so <laughs> I don't care what anyone tells you. <laughs> it's a brutal sport and it's an unforgiving sport, so anything to help you recover, I highly recommend. <laughs> so if you can recover faster, go for it. Carson Couture, all these exotic cars, 
fashion show, beautiful mansion for a great cause, Autism Speaks, you know, put on by Donna Crowley, the Lux Fashion Group. We were a main sponsor of this great event, so we're about to go in, check it out, see all the wonderful people inside, uh, you know, be here for a great cause, show the 2020 Corvette, because everybody's been asking about that, even with all these exotic cars, Ferraris, Lamborghini, Performance, think of yourself as a performance sports car, you yes. want the best for yourself, they want the best for their cars, so let's go inside, check out this great event, and uh, show you some behind the scenes of what we do with these awesome things. I'm excited. Follow us in, guys. Themes, great Gatsby theme. So we decided we were just gonna travel back in time and this, you know, I guess this is the new South Delorean, but it's not Delorean, the 2020 vet. Just wanna make sure we hit 88 miles an hour times two. So at that point we hit it and we came back in time to this great event. So even when we're at these events, if they have these, you know, laid out foods, we want to make sure that we're eating as clean as possible out. Because there could be a lot of garbage in some of the stuff that you show up at, and they've got free buffets like this. But this is a very upscale event. Type Medical Center sponsored this partly, so at that point you know it's going to be good. And this chicken looks delicious. It looks lean. It's going to be right on our nutrition plans. Let's check. Taste test. How's it taste? Good. Oh, it looks yeah. good. Yeah, I mean, like it. usually you can tell just by the look of the chicken that has a lot of fat on it, it's lean. And at this point, oh, yeah. it, it looks really, really good. So We're picky too. I'm very picky. And I want to make sure that you guys are paying attention to detail of what you're eating. All right, you guys are what you eat. Just another Titan tip for you guys to look at and utilize and maybe even next brunch or buffet or whatever you're doing. Every event that's going on, we'll have this great booth set up. So we're getting ready. The fashion show is about to start. We're going to get ready to start this off. So check out the fashion show, and then we'll be back to show you more of Titan Medical Center and our setup here at the event. Medical Center! Woo! 
gotta love it. So we are gonna go walk around Cars and Cool Tour, show you guys all these awesome exotic cars here at this awesome event for charity. Beautiful night. Come along and let's check out all the rides. Some of the Titans families in here. Catch COVID and die before this. Oh my god, what about the reindeer? They're gonna catch COVID too. Oh my like god, the they're negative. They got tigers that catch COVID. These reindeer can catch it too. One day though, one day we're gonna have it. One day. What's up, guys? John here, and I'm behind the scenes at Cars Report Tour. My good friend Chad Servino, and I'm in front of his beautiful brand new Rolls Royce. Man, this is a classic car, beautiful, luxury, sexy, elegant, all in one. And God bless you, because I'm jealous. I want one. Okay? <laughs> so, if you guys want to check out cool cars, make sure you guys are checking out Cars Report Tour next year, because you missed this year. Or you guys can even check out more tight medical service events. We got Festival of Speed coming up in St. Pete. Stay tuned, January 10th. We're gonna blow it out of the water like usual. So keep it tight and strong all the way, guys. Thanks, Chad. I appreciate it. And you're gonna love the rest of this video. So stay tuned, guys. Hi, I'm Ed. And I'm Amber Grace. Yeah. This is my wife, and um, we've noticed that um, I was losing interest in um, practically everything. I didn't want to go out. I didn't want to um, basically get off the couch. You know, and I get up in the morning, I didn't care about work, it was just terrible. And I was uh, noticing I was having all kinds of aches and pains, and no energy, and did not care about, um, my, actually my libido was went to zero. And, uh, you know, we basically just been married, you know, not very long when this happened. And it almost happened like overnight with me, I can almost tell you the day, and then it went to zero. And uh, went to my doctor, and uh, I basically had to almost tell him what was wrong. I saw a commercial about the testosterone, and uh, mentioned it to him. Oh, you want to try the Androgel? So yeah, we tried it. I did that. Wasted a lot of money on it because it did not work. Then my wife uh, found Titan Medical on the internet, and we thought we'd come here and talk to them. We did some blood work, and they found out that my testosterone was almost in existent and um, so we started on the therapy for that and I can almost tell a difference right away after the first week I started feeling a little bit more energy and uh, a little bit more interest in my girl and uh, <laughs> um, the longer I was on it and I guess I've been doing this about, about a year and a half now and it's continually getting better I'm 56 years old and my wife's 35, just turned 35. And, you know, she's still active, and I want to be active, and now I feel like being active. I go out with her wherever she wants to go. We go to concerts. We travel a lot. We go on cruises, and these are things that I would not even do at all. And then after I got on the, um, the uh, injectable testosterone, then uh, it expanded into more things, into, um, you know, I was interested in weight loss. And so they prescribed some medication for me. And in the past year, I've lost 35 pounds with actually little or no effort. Uh, just my appetite has changed. I still eat everything I want to. I just, when, I, when I'm done, I'm done. And then, uh, so that helps with the energy level. I feel better. Um, I've had to buy a lot of new clothes, but uh, you know, it's all worth it. And I'm so glad that we, came here I'm so glad that she found Titan Medical and because it's been a life changer for me I honestly thought before this that I was on my way out of this world I really felt that bad but now I feel great seriously I feel great and you know I just 
don't know what else to say to these guys. I really believe they saved my life. I know for sure they saved my marriage. And um, so, but I would do it over a hundred times. I just wish I knew about them sooner. What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. You know, we're always excited to talk to you guys every Sunday um, about new tips, tricks, and things that can possibly or hopefully will enhance your relationship or bring that relationship back to where it used to be, mm -hmm. right? So that stellar honeymoon phase of where you guys always wanna be, where everything is joyous, you get along with everything, and everything is just peachy and cream, right? <laughs> yes, peaches and cream, talking about peaches and cream. Yeah, talking about peaches and cream. Thanksgiving. So, Thanksgiving is here. <laughs> you know, it, it, Thanksgiving is gonna be a little bit different this year, obviously. Yeah. Um, you know, we've been hit with this pandemic and stuff like this with COVID. It's already been eight months. I mean, I remember when we went first in these lockdowns, I think it was what, March? No, yeah. We started getting into a March, right? beginning of the year, yeah. So we're eight months into this thing, you know, we're in the state of Florida, so we're, you know, a little bit unrestricted here, thank <laughs> goodness. Uh, but we are still an epicenter, uh, you know, of this. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we're, we're one of the states that is lucky. I've seen all these different states out there where they have lockdowns, where they, they got with these crazy restrictions mm -hmm. about how many people can come to dinner, you know, wearing a mask inside the inside house with dinner, house. Hour, yeah. with dinner, um, just all these crazy different things. Mm -hmm. um, one state, you can only have a party for so many hours. So <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I guess mean, the uh, party police will be out. So some of these states are actually asking law enforcement to get involved, okay? So the actual cops uh, of the community. And some of these law enforcement, sheriffs and stuff like that are going against these orders, mm -hmm. which is kind of crazy, right? So we, we've, 2020 is definitely, you know, if you thought that you wouldn't see something, it's probably happening right now. Mm -hmm. You know, you just you wouldn't expect to see some let's of these hope things. Twenty twenty one isn't gonna roll in like that. Well, we're at least gonna get a part of it. But <laughs> let's get back to Thanksgiving. Anyways, yeah. So my my big thing about first covering Thanksgiving is because it usually deals with family or loved ones. Mm -hmm. You know, your significant other, or their families, and stuff like that. And usually, everybody gets together and they have you know this great meal. Um, and, and get together and, and really spend bonding time, family time, which is good in a lot of different ways. Um, you know, but this year, especially because most states are canceling Thanksgiving or not supposed to have it or the CDC is advising against Thanksgiving travel and all this, this stuff. Um, with that, people aren't even saying happy Thanksgiving when I go out. It's kind of crazy, right? It's like, you know, usually you say, you know, happy Thanksgiving. Uh, now it's just going straight to Christmas. Or yeah. happy holidays. Yeah, everybody just skipped it. You know, it, it, I don't know if it's because, you know, it's just because people are like, you know, we're not going to be able to, to participate. Or, you know, even my mom, she's scared to come over, right? She's like, I got to wait till I get the vaccine. I'm like, okay, uh, but it, it's okay. Um, you don't have to have like this big, lavish, right. you know, um, party to be thankful or to have a Thanksgiving. I mean, totally honest with you, I'm not, I mean, I don't know if John knows this, but I'm not cooking for Thanksgiving. I mean, I normally don't cook for Thanksgiving anyway. So this is not new, but we are probably going to be going anywhere where, you know, usually we'll go to his mom's or, you know, go to my mom's or whatever. And they're usually cooking and we bring the side dish, you know, like the little, uh, what's it called? The no pie? other stops. The pie. Yeah. Or the champagne. Yeah. Usually the champagne. <laughs> no desserts, no nothing. We don't bring anything. Stay at home, kind of relax. Yeah. Actually, you, probably going to hit the movie theaters. You still have a lot to be thankful for. So, I mean, this day is still important. I mean, to us anyway, as well. So the big thing is this, and this is my point to even doing this show today, was that we're skipping over Thanksgiving, right? And this is supposed to be a time where we are supposed to be thankful or a remembrance of the thankful of the things that we have or you know that we've you know we've been blessed with by, by God or whoever your higher power is I mean you know I, I think especially right now in the pandemic and all this stuff that has went down all the hardships for people losing their jobs um, you know just people getting sick dying I mean it's just been a bad year all the way together been there, been there. but if you're still alive okay you should be thankful for just that alone because you know what it could be worse you could be dead you ain't gonna be here there is no tomorrow, 
So that's one thing you should definitely be thankful for everybody because some people don't have family. Some people don't have significant others or kids mm -hmm. and usually holidays are depressing times for them. Right. But you guys shouldn't be depressed because you have your life and you have every day afterwards to change it to make it better in one way, shape or form. And that could be you going out and finding a new significant other that you could hopefully share new memories with and new holidays with going forth. So don't get stuck in that rut and depression mm -hmm. of what's going on right now. It's 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 easy to get stuck mm -hmm. in that depression mode because of everything that's going on. Not just the holidays, and think about it. People are just getting depressed in the holidays and they have to deal with this before. Mm -hmm. So at that point, please, and if you know somebody out there that's like that, you know, invite them to your house maybe, or you know, send them a dish or, or something like that. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, it, it's cool when, when people think of you, right, at that point. And yeah. if you don't have anybody, it, feel good. it does. It makes you feel good inside and, and it will help them mentally, right? Um, being thankful for other things, right? So if you do have family, being thankful for your family and being around your family, even if you have to do the Zoom thing with them and you're scared to be with them, right. okay, <laughs> uh, because of catching COVID or whatever it is, because, you know, just, you don't know anymore. You don't know who's scared, who's not scared. And it's just crazy. So... At that point, be thankful for those people. The third thing, right? Be thankful <laughs> of being able to eat, okay? Because some people are out there and they just, yeah. they, they, they can't eat. They don't have enough money to eat. I mean, that yeah. that's another thing. That's another crazy thing out there. You wouldn't think about it like that. You I know? feel like you forget. You, you forget. Like, you know, you just go with the, the flow of the day and I mean, you know, everybody has something to complain about. It doesn't matter whether you, if you have five dollars in your bank account or right. you have five million in your bank account. I feel like you still have something to complain about. Right. Everybody's going to complain, right? right? But I think it's easy to just skip over on the day to day of what you are thankful for, and it could be a million different things. I mean, just talking about your significant other. I mean, I'm thankful for John, and in many, 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 many ways, many ways, all the way from you know Peter or helping out or business-wise, you know, I'm thankful for the fact that we have really great communication skills, you know? It's just, even yesterday, you know, it's just anything can happen in the middle of the day and to be able to have a discussion or be able to voice our opinions to each other without ripping each other's faces off, it, that's important. And Absolutely. that's, I mean, that's, um, you know, it's something to be super grateful for. So maybe just sit back and think, what do I have that I can be thankful for? Whether it's your, it might be your job, because a lot of people don't have a job right now, or they were, what's it called, for a load? For a load. For a load. Yeah. Um, you know, or it could just be your health. This year, especially me, I got COVID myself in June, and it gave me sepsis and pneumonia right after, so that was fun. But I am every single day, even if it is a terrible day, because last week was not, I, it was a bad week for me. But I'm here, and I am healthy, and I'm alive. And I am very grateful for that. I'm very grateful for that. I'm grateful for my family, my business, but more grateful for anything else in my health because I didn't realize how... Too <laughs> it, for granted. It, it really is because you don't realize even though there's a hundred people that need me, there's all these people that need me to do something for them, you know, and I've always put myself on the back burner. Well, come to find out in June, I realized, uh-oh, well, if I don't feel good, I just can't do it. You just can't do it at all. So it's like, you know, you gotta give and take a little bit and take care of yourself and take care of your significant other. Make sure you guys are taking care of each other. Sometimes you get so busy, you maybe you just need to stop and remind them like, hey, babe, go get your workout in. That's a big one for him. So, you know, it's just little things like that. Or, hey, babe, you need to eat something because it's been, you know, seven hours and you haven't eaten anything because we're just all day. I feel like a little hamster. Like a hamster on the wheel. <laughs> There's no. no getting off. <laughs> yeah. I just like it. I get a sip of water every five seconds. You know, I like every five hours. I'm like, up, up, let me get a sip of water. Okay, back to my hamster wheel. Go, 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 go. Run, run, run. So, you know, you just, but you got to be thankful. I ha I mean, I, I got to be thankful I have a wheel. You know? I, I could be a hamster in the forest. That would be terrible yep. to be a hamster in the forest. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I honestly, guys, it's it's important that, you know, you are thankful and coming back to Cupid's Corner, you know, it's it's important you're thankful and grateful for your significant other in any way, shape or fashion. And then you express that to them somehow. It doesn't have to be you verbally telling them because usually actions speak louder than words. So it's important to be able to show them that 
they are important to you or whatever you're grateful for. And it can be in anything. You can cook dinner, you can maybe spice it up in the bedroom, whatever your significant other likes. Verbally and physically reciprocate and appreciate. That, yeah. That's kind of what it is. Make them feel you know? good. Make them feel good. You know, they'll probably reciprocate back to you. It goes back and forth, and that's a good mm-hmm. thing, right? It's like, you know, you giving a gift and you receiving a gift at the same point. It, it, it's definitely a benefit for your relationship. And it's, it's, it's big to be thankful and grateful for these things. And not just on the one day, like on Thanksgiving, I see social media blogs like, I'm so thankful for. Mm-hmm. Awesome. I love people expressing that on there. But every day you should think about what you're thankful for. Now, this will hold true to some of you people out there. And I'll hit you right where you want to be hit. If you've ever been down, okay, you could have been here and you dropped for some reason, shape, or form, mm-hmm. right? Addiction bankruptcy, whatever it is. People go through hard times, depression, losing people. And if you've been and you hit rock bottom, you know what it is if you do get back up and you go right back to the top. And you'll always have those memories. You'll always be thankful for all those different things that got you back to where you wanted to be. Um, For you people that have not you know, went through something like that. Be grateful that you have. Be it. grateful you have, it, <laughs> right? Be grateful you have it. Be thankful you have it. Think about it every day. Think about these things every day. It's really important, um, and it will make sure that, that you stay on point. You stay humble because that's the big thing out there too, as well. Mm-hmm. So I hope everybody had a happy Thanksgiving. Yes. Um, you know, with their family or without their family on Zoom, without Zoom by themselves or with a whole bunch of people. However you want to do it abide by CDC guidelines in your laws in your state. I don't want to get you guys in trouble. <laughs> Hopefully you guys, if you guys are somebody's neighbor, you guys aren't tattletailing on people. Heard about those little tattletailers out there. So don't be a tattletale. No. Nobody likes a rat, okay? <laughs> uh, stitches get stitches. Remember these old sayings because they always hold true. Aye, aye, aye. But anyway, no, seriously, guys. Be grateful. Be thankful for what you have. Of course, everybody wants to level up mm-hmm. and become more and get more, but Make sure that you are thankful for what you have now because that can be taken from you at any second. You can be dead at any moment. You have no idea. Nothing is guaranteed except for death and taxes. So, guys, (laughs) I appreciate you guys tuning in to another Cupid's Corner. Hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. Looking forward to Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever you celebrate there. We can't wait because December is coming up. So thank you guys for tuning in. Tune in every Sunday, 11 a.m. I'm Sharice. I'm John. (laughs) And we'll we'll see see you you next week. week.